Martina. Blair. Bridget. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and carry out a distillation. This is how your completed distillation setup should look. Carrying out a distillation requires a lot of specialized equipment, which we'll show now. The first piece of equipment you'll need is a round bottom flask. As these will not be stable on your bench, you should stand these flasks in a cork ring or beaker. Transfer the liquid to be distilled into the round bottom flask using a funnel. Then, with a spatula, add three or four boiling chips to the flask. Arrange the flask above the heat source. If using a Bunsen burner, place a sheet of gauze on a tripod and securely clamp your flask on top of this. If using a heating mantle, the flask might seem stable, but it is still necessary to clamp the flask securely to prevent it from tipping over. This is a still head. The frosted parts are ground glass joints and need to fit snugly together to prevent the escape of gases. The still head should fit in the neck of the flask. If it is loose, an adapter may be required. Next, you will need a thermometer, which should fit in the opening in the top of the still head. Loosen the cap and push the thermometer through the seal. Adjust the height of the thermometer until the bulb sits at the point where the still head branches, then tighten the cap. The next piece of equipment is the condenser. This uses water to cool the vapours, condensing them back into a liquid which can then be collected. Firmly attach a piece of rubber hose to one of the short tubes on the side of the condenser. Then attach a separate piece of rubber hose to the other short tube. Fit the opening of the condenser to the branch of the still head, ensuring that the glass joints overlap completely. When this is done, clamp the condenser in place. It will take some adjustment to position the clamp so that the condenser is held securely in the correct place. If they are not held securely, the pieces can shift and the joints will no longer prevent gases from escaping. Connect the hose attached to the lower end of the condenser to the tap. The end of the other piece of hose should rest in the sink. The next piece you will need is a receiver. This should be fitted to the end of the condenser. You will also need labelled containers to collect both your desired product as well as any waste that condenses out. Place your waste container underneath the receiver. Now your setup is complete. Note that the thermometer is vertical, the condenser points at a downward angle, and the connections are fitting together properly. Begin by slowly turning on the tap. Check the rate of flow by watching the condenser fill with water. After the condenser is full, you should monitor the flow by checking the end of the hose in the sink. Turn on your heat source. While the distillation may be a slow process to begin with, it is essential that you pay close attention throughout to quickly identify any problems and ensure that you collect the correct product. Once the temperature is high enough, the liquid in the flask should be boiling in a controlled manner, with steady bubbles forming as a result of adding the boiling chips at the start. Eventually, the vapours will rise up in the still head and move across into the condenser. At the same time, the temperature will begin to increase quickly. Shortly afterwards, liquid will start to drip from the receiver. Continue to watch the thermometer. Once the temperature reaches the target range, swap the container under the receiver and start collecting your product.